What's up guys, it's Samer. How are you guys doing today? We're having a fantastic day today. We're going to be doing the Duck Commander 500 from Texas Motor Speedway. Look at my sexy new do. I know, I know. So, so sexy. Oh, forgot. This is a YouTube video. I need to put, need to put, yeah, yeah, there we go. Anyway, we're going to be starting in 40th. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is on easy mode, and we still started 40th. I didn't, I, I practiced in normal mode, but I, I qualified in easy, and we're still starting last. I'm not sure what that was. Maybe it was like a glitch or something. Starting last, here we go. Everything is bigger in Texas, and that statement couldn't be more true for Texas Motor Speedway. Texas is a mile and a half D-shaped oval that creates exciting racing action all the way around. Also, check out the Big Hoss TV on the backstretch. That's the largest HD TV in the world. Anyway, here we go. Green flag is in the air. We are racing from Texas on easy mode. Now, people are going to get all angry about me for doing that, but, like, I, I, I have some defense to make about that. I, I have I have my, my points that I want to make about that, too. Like, it's easy mode. It's, it's not cheating because I'm playing on easy mode. The point of a video game is to have fun. And it's not going to be fun for me if I'm not doing well. That's why I play on easy mode. And the thing is, is it's like, it's still not easy. Even on championship mode, easy mode was not easy. Even if I'm on like the, the most upgraded car and I'm on the easiest mode that you can possibly go to, you're still going to have to work. It's still work that you're going to have to do. If Jimmy Johnson goes and races a K&N race, it's still going to be work for him. Tom Brady, if he, if he goes and plays like some high school football game, he, it's still going to be work. He still has to try. Like, I mean, I still got to try to keep my car off the wall. Uh, yeah, I didn't hack into the game. I, I, I still got to try to keep my car off the wall. I still do got to race some people. I, I have to I have to save fuel. I have to check that. I got to focus on pit strategy. I got to, you know, make sure my tires aren't going down. So it's still work. It's still work. I didn't hack into the game. I didn't change the setting. Make it. I didn't hack into the game to make all the cars stop. I didn't make my car able to go into like 700 miles an hour. So I know people are gonna get angry about that, but it's like I'm I'm allowed to do that. It's a setting in the game. I'm trying to eat while I'm racing, and it's really difficult. Yeah, and then I just wrecked because of that. I'm trying to open up a lollipop wrapper. Oh, there goes Almondinger. You know. All because I'm trying to eat. See, I think we're going to keep the, the settings on easy because it's what I like to do. Oh, there goes Chris Buescher. Maybe if... Oh, gosh. He's wrecking big time. He's wrecking big time. Yep. Caution's out. Maybe if we win the first race in the of the season at that track, then in the next race we'll move it to normal. Oh, God damn it. Move it. Wall. Oh, there goes Kurt Busch. Oh, God. And there's a crash. Oh, gosh. There's trouble. Oh, my gosh. What is it? Okay, this is the AI's issue. I didn't even know today was Labor Day until I checked Twitter this morning. It was like 10, 10 a.m. Destiny 2 is coming out, guys. We Now, I want to talk about something. There probably won't be any streams until maybe Saturday. There'll be one tomorrow, and then there probably won't be any until Saturday because Destiny 2 is coming out on Wednesday, midnight. I'm going to be playing the midnight release. We are. I already have it pre-ordered, so I can just open it up right at midnight on Wednesday. And I'll be playing it. Me and my brother are going to be playing it. We're going to be making videos on it. I'm probably going to make a video on this channel of a first look. Probably doing some videos on me and my brother's channel. And we'll probably do some of those. Destiny 2. And I played the beta. So I'm excited. Pumped up. Oh my god. I don't like this. I don't like doing that. Ma. Why did all this happen to me? How could this happen to me? I made my mistake. So at Martinsville, which is the last race, we probably could have won that. Honestly, if there was no caution when I spun out Matt Kenseth, we probably still would have won that. Yes, Brad Kozlowski passed us, but we probably could have caught up to him in that final two laps and probably passed him for the win. It's kind of frustrating that we didn't win that, though. Okay, boy. Bye-bye. Okay, or not. Oh, wow. We even we actually went more by than he did. That's, that's not fair. I tried, and then I don't succeed. And I'm never going to get anywhere. Uh, uh, uh. Um, Jaden, no, I don't have a great life. I might make great content, but I don't have a great life. I actually live in the most functioning, perfect, happy family life ever. Just kidding. My family is totally dysfunctional, and we have a lot of mess up stuff in it. Don't give up on yourself, because God is always with you. Okay, well, he's, it wasn't then. What the sponsor deal says is that if we can get a top 20, they'll give us a bonus. Okay, Mr. Idiot. 
Landon Castle. Now my car's damaged and everything sucks and I have no friends and no life and no one loves me. My life is a stupid lie. Oh god damn it! Man, I freaking was turning and then I stopped. I'm trying to go this whole race without drinking any water. Man, I'm I'm bummed out because the Call of Duty uh, World War II private beta got taken down now. It's kind of depressing because I was having a lot of fun with it. As bad as I was, it, it was it was still a lot of fun. And I, 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 I love being that bad player. I love being that noob who just pisses people off because I'm so bad and I like make the whole team lose. I love being that person. And then everybody's in the lobby like complaining at me like, I never want to play with you again. I never want to play with you again. But hey, yeah, take, take your weaknesses and use them as comedy. That's what I do. And anything bad can be turned into something good. And that's a great way to look at life, is that anything bad can be turned into something good. My badness in Call of Duty World War II Private Beta is I can use that as comedy to piss people off, and that's a good thing, because I like pissing people off. Because then it can bring me content, or just the entertainment of pissing people off, and seeing how bad I am is funny. <laughs> See, that's, that's why I'm a total jack, and I probably shouldn't be on the internet. Go get him, champ. Let's go. Focus. You got this. I got this. I will do this. I will win this race, and probably is not, but I'll try. I'll try. I'll try my hardest. I just don't want to let anybody down if I don't. So I'm not going to say that I will. Because if I don't, then people are going to go all pissed at me. Like, you promised, you promised. But, you know, whatever. I'll try. <laughs> oh, wow. That happened for a good reason. Not really. And the sad thing is, he did nothing to deserve that. I'm just a complete jerk hole. Because I'm insecure about myself, and I so I take it out on other people. Because I, like the feeling of other people being sad too. Michael and Ant, you do not get to pass me, bro. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, come on. No. Why? Dude, no, man. Why? Oh, wow. Oh, there's the arrow damage that I was looking for. Yeah, I finally got it. Oh, wow. There's there's the field. Okay, there's like multiple cars wrecking, literally. I'm the one, yeah. I'm the one, yeah. This song is stupid lyrically, but it's catchy. Yeah, it's catchy. Oh, there goes Kyle Larson. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. 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 There's Kyle Busch, the car that I was racing in last year. And now I'm watching it from a third-person view. I missed last year. That was fun. Yeah, wreck now. I'm jealous. Coming home this late. Oh, God! Oh! I did that last year in this race for the championship mode. Many more to come. Stay tuned. Please. I'm beg like I'm actually begging you. No one else watches my videos, so if you're watching this video right now, like please just stay tuned. I I'm I'm desperate. Please just stay. Don't leave. If you leave, I'll shoot. I swear to God, I'm I'm not afraid to use this thing. If you leave, I will shoot. Oh wow, there's getting some bumping and banging up ahead between Austin Dillon and Chase Elliott. Wow, I never thought the AI would be that caring. Which there's like a human element to these games, or like they would actually wreck each other. It's all just AI and you can like predict their movements and it kind of sucks. Oh god, Danica! Oh wow, okay, okay, oh, 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 oh. No! Okay, that happened. Oh gosh, damn it. Oh wow, Kyle Bush wrecked. And then there's a big crash. True X is wrecking and everybody. Okay, yeah. But it's kind of weird to me how Richard Petty got exactly 200 wins. And then he never won a race again. That That's kind of, that's... How do you, how do you go on like a 20 year streak of winning races? Get your exact 200th win. And then for the next nine years, never win another race. That doesn't make sense to me. How, how does that happen? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> if a couple in Alabama gets divorced, are they still brother and sister? That's pretty good. Okay, so we got 43 laps left on fuel. We can probably pit um, 93, 293, and then be good to the end. I'm kind of hoping no more cautions, or maybe like one more, um, right? Like as the fuel strategy is about to be exactly good, and then people have to pit. And then, you know, how it works, yeah. And then I can pass a bunch of people and then win. What do Jalen Hart and Pink Floyd have in common? What? They hit they they hit the wall. They hit the wall. They're breaking the wall. Good. That was I didn't even you didn't even have to say it. You didn't have to say it. I, I knew uh, <sighs> Their last big hit was the wall, yeah. <laughs> that was that's kinda sad. But no, I wanna die like Jalen Hart did. Like, you know, just doing something that I love. Whether it's racing or you know, I'm filming something and people are like, hey, don't film that. And I'm like, screw you, I'll film whatever I want. And then they shoot me for filming. Like riding a roller coaster and then dying in that way. 
because it like breaks. Helen Keller walks into a bar and a table and a chair and a wall. <laughs> hey, her last great big hit was the wall. We got 27 laps to go here at Texas, hoping that some people will pit and you know, we will win. Okay, we're coming around 20 laps to go here at Texas Motor Speedway. Can we do something great in this? Can we do something great in the final laps of this race? We're catching up to Casey Kane and Matt Benedetto. Matt Benedetto's a lap car, though. But Casey Kane, we're catching up to him. David Reagan's in front of him. We got a few cars in front of him that we're, we could catch up to in the next few laps that we hope we can. Johnson's right behind me, though. He is the leader. So I'm trying to keep him off of me. I'm trying to block him. I'm trying to do everything that I can to not have him pass me. And don't. I am doing everything in my power. And he got loose. Johnson got loose. Now Johnson passed me. He lapped me. Now we're going to get past him. Now he lapped me again. And here comes Kislowski. He's still in the top 20 though. So our sponsor deal is still going to help us out. So now it is a race between Brad Kislowski and Jimmy Johnson that we're looking at up ahead. Uh, there's lap cars and everything. So Johnson now has his work cut out for him. Kislowski can probably get around him in that. Uh, it's also going to help me to, to catch up to them. Casey Kane's right behind me, trying to hold that off. Five to go around Texas Motor Speedway. Final lap, one lap to go here at Texas Motor Speedway. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Oh, a caution occurred. What White flag was shown, the race is over. So guys, this is the flip that happened on lap 149. This is what happened. So it looks like I hit the wall and I just, you know, glitched out and then a lot of flips. It didn't even look like when I was racing, I went like upside down totally it looks like I was like it looked like I was just you know on my like on my nose but apparently here's what I saw yeah see it looked like I was on my nose but I wasn't so here's a different angle of it bam Brad Kozlowski won this race got a second one of the season winnings 14,195, Moo gave us 5,000, and secondary, 3,500 for the top 20. We finished exactly 20th. So in points, we are now in points, I think we are 19th, 19th. Okay, that's one spot worse than what we were. Fastest lap, Brad Kozlowski, 39.19. Brad Kozlowski led the most laps, 172. On the move, Michael Lynette, 36 to 15. And tough break, Joe Villagano, 7 to 39. Okay, guys, so we got Texas done, but next race is our best track, Bristol Motor Speedway. $21,000 for if I win that. I've won both races that I've run in competitiveness so far. I think we can do it again. Granted, we won't have the best car, but we'll have it on easy mode. That's how I like to race. For the next race, the sponsor is going to be qualified. Tw no, we're going to do lead a lap. I think we can do that. That's not too difficult. Standings, here's what the point standings look like. Brad Kozlowski, Kevin Harvick, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, those are the guys locked in. Dale Hart Jr., Kurt Busch, Carl Embers, Matt Kenseth, Truex Jr., Newman, Johnson, Almarola. It's pretty, still pretty cool to see him in that. Larson and Dylan. Those are the guys who are in the chase right now. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Make sure you share this video on MySpace. And as always, Sam for Kareen Leader.